back to my channel welcome if you are new if you are new and you like what you see here today make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave turn on your post bell notification so you are notified when Lil L me upload a video and yeah y'all so this is my first well it's my second video postpartum but my first vlog postpartum so if you guys missed my last video which was my actual labor and delivery story time because if y'all watched the actual labor and delivery vlog it was kind of all over the place kind of not really I just didn't pick up my camera as frequent as I would have liked because at first I wasn't even going to vlog it but I'm glad I did because I can look back on it for personal memories and even when I did start vlogging I didn't necessarily have the intentions of posting it because I'm like, I look a hot mess. I don't want to post this on YouTube. If anything, I'll record the video to have as a keepsake for myself. But I did wind up, you know, putting it on YouTube or whatever. So excuse my appearance in that last video. But um, today I am a week and four days postpartum. So Sunday will be two days postpartum. And Kaya, Kaya is my daughter. She is still actually in the NICU, but she should be coming home soon. And I'm on my way to go see her. So I'm about to spend the day with her. Then after that, I'm going to go to the mall because um, I think maybe before I gave birth, I had went, well, I, oh, no, while I was in the hospital, I had ordered online the UGG slides because um, Nordstrom was having a sale or whatever and then when I left the hospital I went to go pick them up but they was too big so I had to bring them back for a smaller size but they didn't have the smaller size they had to order it online so I'm gonna go see if those shipped in today my nails are a hot mess I want to take them off honestly but I was kind of waiting for them to grow out so it's like easier for me to just pop them off so I don't damage my real nails too too much but yeah, these need to come off ASAP, so let's just ignore them. Also, meeting up with my friend Ashley, supposed to be, I actually haven't talked to her at all today, but um, again, if y'all watched the vlog, y'all would know that my baby shower didn't happen because, and I can't, y'all, in those last two videos, I said so much thing, so many things wrong, so let me correct myself. First, the medication that they use to induce you is called Pitocin, not penicillin, okay? It's Pitocin, y'all. Pitocin, that's one. Um, two, what else? The baby shower was on, supposed to be on the 6th and my water broke on the 4th. I kept saying that the baby shower was on the 8th. No, my water broke two days before my baby shower, okay? Two days. Um, the new baby shower date is on the 8th. That's why I keep getting it confused. But, um, yeah, so y'all know my baby shower didn't happen. So, like, I, got, I have been having a couple of people reach out to me like, oh, do you want your gift now or do you want me to bring it to the later baby shower? Mind y'all, the later baby shower isn't for, like, two months. So I was basically telling everybody, I'm like, if you got newborn things or things that she would grow out of, you can bring it now. Otherwise, if it's like three month stuff, six month stuff, or like toys, pampers, diapers, wipes, pampers and diapers is the same thing. <laughs> but if it's things like that, it can wait. But yeah, so Ashley is supposed to be meeting up with me because she wants to drop off her gift and our other friend, Alinda. But I'm doing too much talking, so... We about to head to the hospital, y'all. Turn oh, right. Turn. Then turn right. If I needed to turn right, I was going to turn right. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So, I just um, dropped turn off right. some I'm orders. And I'm now on my way to the hospital. But I just wanted to give y'all a quick little update before I get there on um, what's been going on with Kaya. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's going on two weeks and she's been in the hospital but she's not hooked up to any of the machines or anything she's breathing on her own um keeping her temperature all that stuff the only thing right now that she's working on is taking all of her all of her feedings by mouth so the only thing she is still hooked up to is she has a feeding tube in her nose because she sleeps a lot so she still needs to eat so when she's sleep and it's feeding time they just put it through the um, tube and sometimes while they're feeding her when they are able to do it by mouth while she's up um, while she's awake you know my sister be tapping out she be tired she can't take no more she be like all right I'm good but you know to them she still hasn't eaten enough but also another thing she's working on is gaining weight so let me tell y'all how I think well they think 
but now I think because they think that her original birth weight was wrong. So if y'all watched the labor and delivery vlog, she was allegedly born six pounds and five ounces. Um, but again, if y'all watched that video, the day before she was born, I actually had a sonogram and it was some kind of test that she had to pass. Like she got points and everything for it. So when they did that sonogram the day before she was born, the sonogram text said she was five pounds and between six to eight ounces. Now for her to have been born the very next day and she was six pounds, five ounces, it's like, well, dang, you gained a whole pound in a day. Like, but you know, granted, I ain't think much of it. So then when I'm telling like my family and stuff, like how she's six pounds, five ounces, blah, blah, blah. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, she's so big. But like, I'm seeing her in person. I'm like, she's really not big at all. Like, I don't think she's big. And then right, like, oh, if you would have went for full term, she really would have been big, blah, blah, blah. But then throughout her first week of being there, they weighed her again and said that she was five pounds and six ounces. And they're like, it's normal for babies to lose weight within their first week of life because, you know, they're losing all of that water weight. But they was like to go from six pounds, five ounces to five pounds, six ounces, which is a switch, how ironic. Um, but they were like, that's a real drastic, you know, weight loss. So that's when they initially said that they think her birth weight was wrong. So now when I went the day before yesterday, the nurse that was there, she was telling me that she weighed four pounds and 15 ounces. So I'm telling her how her birth weight was six pounds, five ounces. She's like, what? No, I don't think that was right, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, besides the whole, you know, getting her to eat all of her food by mouth and not need the tube, and making sure she's properly gaining weight. That's the last two things we're waiting on. Right now she is still in the little incubator, which is the box that they have the babies in, in, the, in the NICU. But before they're able to go home, they gotta pass this whole crib test, which is when they're left in an open environment, a crib essentially, and they have to maintain their body temperature, you know, take all of their feeding, um, breathe on their own, but she's been doing, and things like that. I'm not exactly sure how the car seat test goes, but her car seat is there. And her stroller's home, but like, the actual stroller piece, I wanna leave it in the car because y'all saw my apartment, it's steps, and I'm not finna be, like every time we go out, I'm not finna be bringing up, up and down that big stroller piece. That piece is just gonna stay in the car and like I'll bring up and down her actual car seat. But the stroller has two pieces that attaches to the wheel. It has a car seat piece, and then it has another piece that's an actual stroller piece. Like it's not the car seat piece, but for a while they're so little, you can attach the car seat to the wheels. But when I get back home, I'm gonna show y'all the actual stroller piece because the car seat is in the hospital and I'll like put it together and let y'all know what kind of, um, let y'all know what kind of uh, stroller it is. But yeah, I'm gonna just talk to y'all when I get to the hospital. Hi honey! Oh, this big old bag. Yeah, I didn't know what to get, so I got a bunch of stuff. I'm crying. This is just yours or yours and Alinda's? Just mine. Thank want, you. All right, because I was going to be here tomorrow. Unless y'all want to meet me at my apartment, because that's where I'll be. Through the oh, door. Look at her. I'm looking at your lock screen. Oh, I'm crying. Just... It's three of them. Yo, why is she so big? She's not that big. She's real tiny. It's the cheeks for me. Yes, her cheeks are super chubby. Oh, now nah, when does she come home? I don't know yet. They're she, playing. She don't look small enough. Right, she's fine. They just yeah. want her to eat more. Y'all, let's ignore the car seat mirror back there. It didn't dawn on me when I got it that my back seats aren't like the front seats and how it like lifts up and you can go underneath. Those seats aren't like that and to properly um, attach the mirror piece, it needs to go under the headrest. So there's a way to possibly fix it, but I'm trying to wait till her car seat is actually in here and you know, I can adjust it to where I can see her and things like that. But yes, I am leaving the hospital now. It is four, five o'clock, it's five o'clock. <laughs> um, I'm about to go to the mall to pick up my shoes and then I'm going home, I'm kind of tired. So yeah, Ashley bought me this big old bag of goodies for Kaya. So when I get home, I'll show you guys what's in there. Um, she says she might, it's only hers. Earlier I had told you that she was, y'all, that she would possibly bring in Alinda's too. That's only her stuff. But she says she gonna try to get Alinda and Essence's stuff and bring that to me tomorrow. But, yeah, I also wanted to go to Carter's because 
my sis has no newborn clothes because like my mom she was telling me like don't buy newborn clothes because they outgrow it really fast and all that so she doesn't really have a lot of newborn clothes but being that she was actually you know kind of preemie she's kind of small and she will be a newborn a lot longer than if she was born on my due date if that makes sense to y'all so but i was just gonna go get some onesies like some white onesies i wasn't gonna get actual outfits and stuff because where we going we ain't going nowhere so let me see if there's a carter's in my area i think there is yeah it's three minutes from the mall so yeah i'm gonna go to carter's hmm I think I'm gonna go first just because if they don't have what I'm looking for I can get it from the mall now let's just hope they have the newborn size you know? preemie I ain't gonna buy her no preemie stuff y'all she's not even the small well I mean she is but she's been wearing newborn stuff since she's been in there so this is newborn size and then I want to get some long sleeve ones too these are just shirts they're not onesies I don't think they got long sleeve onesies and newborn size. So now I'm thinking if I should just get two packs of these. Y'all, I'm er, kind of, but not really. So first of all, if y'all new to my channel and y'all don't know, whatever, I just like recently moved over here where I am. Um, so I'm still kind of learning the area or whatever, right? So went to Carter's. Got my stuff. I'm going to do a little quick haul. I went in there for onesies, but y'all know how it would be, especially, you know, new mom life or whatever. I got myself some Christmas stuff. Mind y'all, we still in September, but I wanted her to be in the little Christmas spirit. Um, Being that she can't do much for Halloween because they don't have newborn Halloween costumes. They have newborn Halloween costumes, but not really. Like, it's not a specific newborn Halloween costume. It's like zero to three months, which she's gonna be too small it's gonna be too big for her so um yeah so i'm still landing my way in the area whatever so i leave carter's and my smart self because carter's isn't that far far from the mall at all like once i actually got to where carter's is i'm like oh yeah the mall is right there so when i'm leaving carter's i'm like let me see if i can get to the mall without using my gps yo don't turn them all up no okay so me thinking i know it all or whatever i wound up getting back on the highway so i'm tight going in the opposite direction so then i had to put it in my gps at that point because i didn't know what exit to get off of and where i would go once i got off at that exit so i put in my gps and i come back to the mall so get to the mall i decided i'm like i'm just gonna go to nordstrom to pick up my shoes and i'm leaving my own window shop i'm not gonna walk around i ain't going to the food court i ain't going nowhere else okay because i'm tired and i want to go home so get to the mall whatever and i go to the little um guest services in nordstrom and i just give her my name and she goes looking for my package or whatever as soon as she comes back she's like oh did you get a notification saying that it was here and i'm like no but i i just figured i would check and she's like it's not there so like i kind of came over here for no reason because the whole carter's thing could have waited i could have ordered it online for real i only went to carter's because i was like i'm in the area i'm going to the mall anyways thinking i was picking up my shoes my shoes ain't even here that was a sign honestly when i got back on the highway that was god telling me girl just take your behind home but let me show y'all what i got from carter's really quick so i got these onesies like i showed y'all newborn onesies i got two packs of these honestly i probably not gonna even need both packs so for real for real, i'll probably take one back they come with five she, like i said she does have some newborn stuff but not a lot so yeah i think i'm gonna take one back not today though um and i can just always wash them i do have a washer and dryer in my house then in the little christmas spirit i got her this red reindeer onesies in the size three months because in three months it will be christmas okay and then i got her these little they they called cozy leggings but they look like little sweatpants if you ask me and they're red and then i just got this red shirt it's christmasy too if y'all can see so like she can wear this together or like she can wear these as sweats what they look like with like a little white shirt we're gonna see how i'm feeling more towards um 
Christmas. But yeah, I'm about to be on my way home. Low key, I was gonna stop at McDonald's because McDonald's got spicy nuggets now, y'all. And my boyfriend was wanting to try them and I kinda wanna try them too. So I was like gonna bring some home, but I don't feel like stopping anywhere else, y'all. I wanna go home. <laughs> I feel like I've been outside all day. I don't know. And it's like no McDonald's conveniently on my way home. Like, it's not like I pass by one. Let me see. Well, I already got McDonald's in my GPS. Now, let me see how far this McDonald's is from where I live. Yeah, like, McDonald's is a 12-minute drive. I'm not going to nobody's McDonald's. Yeah, I'm about to go home. So, yeah, I'll see y'all when I get home. All right, you guys, so I'm back home. We're going to do a little virtual baby shower gift unboxing. Kind of not really because it's only one gift. So, this is from Ashley. That's just got Hello Pampers. So, we got size one Pampers. Two packs of size one Pampers. Right now, my sis is in newborn. Then we got, then we got three towels and washcloths. Focus. She, I don't think my sis had any towels either. She had a bunch of washcloths, but no towels. Um, oh, we loves plush blankets. Oh, my sis got her a pink blanket. Yes, this is going right in her crib. This bag is so big, y'all. <laughs> right. And we got some Johnson's a Baby Bar of soap. Smells just like the lotion. And then Johnson's Baby Lotion, the pink one. And then a box of wipes with a little case. I'm glad she got the one in the case because we got like mad wipes, but they're not in a case. And the case actually preserves them longer than when they're in the little bag, if y'all know what bag I'm talking about. I don't know if that's making sense, but like when they're in the bag packaging, they dry out, but in the case, it helps keep them nice and moist. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if like the package in here is in what I'm talking about. Yeah, so like most wipes just come like this in the little plastic I guess and then you open it from here but like this stops sticking after a while and then the um wipes will dry out but if you got the little case okay that's how you preserve them okay so thank you Ashley so I actually meant to show y'all my stomach a little earlier I hope this is appropriate for everybody you know we all grown here it's the same as being in a bathing suit but yeah so this is my stomach um a week and four days postpartum or whatever um i think i mentioned this when i was doing my story time about how my sis waited to the last minute to give me stretch marks so yeah yo my stomach is not perfect snapback game there you know the the baby fat the gut and all that is gone but the stretch marks y'all yeah my sis really violated i still got the pregnancy piercing in because i can't find my normal um belly ring so yeah a lot of y'all was asking me like did i have let me turn it around Oh, I'm all zoomed in. So yeah, a lot of y'all was asking me like, oh, did I have my belly ring in my whole pregnancy? Yes, I had the pregnancy belly, the maternity um belly ring in. It's plastic and it's flexible, so it bends as your belly grows because I got my belly pierced when I was 15 and it was painful, so I was gonna be damned if my whole closed, so I wasn't trying to let it close, but yeah. Here's a better view of my stomach, y'all. So I have been using stuff on the stretch marks. Is it working? Granted, it's only been like a week, less than a week maybe. So I'm, I'm, and it says to use for at least a minimum of three months. And plus they'll fade over time on its own. So I'm not rushing. Um, to me, like looking in the mirror and stuff, the appearance is definitely not as bad as it was at first as my like as my stomach has been shrinking down the visibility of the stretch marks have been shrinking as well but the stretch marks themselves haven't necessarily disappeared or disappeared or faded they're still there but being that my stomach is shrinking back down to its original size i see them less i hope that made sense but yeah 
So let me show y'all my little breast milk stash already. And y'all, I get all of this milk in, I feel like three of these in one sitting, y'all. In one 15 minute sitting of pumping, y'all. So like all of this is from two pumping sessions. Two 15 minute pumping sessions gave me all of this milk. So yeah, this is honestly, like day wise, if I look at the dates, 921, this is from 920. Is that my first one? Yeah. 920 to 923 is what all this milk is from. So three days worth of milk, 20, 20, four days worth of milk technically. And I've been bringing some to the hospital as well. Yeah, they got bottle nipples that they can just throw on top of these after they throw out, of course, and feed it to has a regular bottle. So I feel like the breast milk storage bottles are a lot more convenient. Also, there is a piece that I can pump directly into these bags, but I don't have that piece. So I pump into bottles and then I pour it into the bags, which, you know, can get a little messy at times. Whereas pouring it into the containers is a lot easier cleaner all that good stuff but yeah just want to show you my little collection so i do not feel like making dinner tonight so we are having an oven pizza had an oven pizza one time before because babe was bragging about how it's so good but i didn't like it so i didn't eat it so this is a different brand we're gonna try red baron um we probably should have got DiGiorno, but like we were just walking past the free freezer aisle and I saw this and it looked good so I just picked it up but like DiGiorno is a popular brand that I've heard of so yeah got the oven preheat into 400 I hope it got like the circular oven friendly thing underneath the pizza so I can just throw it in the oven because I don't got a pan that's probably gonna fit this and I don't want to waste my aluminum foil but we'll see so here is the pizza y'all it looks mad good so it didn't have the little um thing underneath that i was talking about but this specific pizza you can just put it straight on the rack so that is what i did but 18 minutes wasn't long enough it wasn't ready so i left it in for a little bit longer but i'm excited because I actually have a pizza cutter I've never got to use. So we about to cut this pizza up and bon appetito. Okay, this is dinner. So I just wanted to come and show y'all all that I got. This is from both boobies or whatever. <laughs> um, so they also gave me new storage containers. These are the original ones that I had and these held 100 milliliters. These ones only hold 70, so they hold less milk. But I got three things of 70 milliliters, and then this 100 milliliter, and then this is a two milliliter syringe, but I didn't put the label over it, so I can't really see exactly where it's at. I think it's like at nine milliliters or whatever. So this is all that I got from one session. I was pumping for maybe like 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, from both boobs. So I just want to show you this. I'm probably going to just put it in the freezer now. And babe is going to go see Kaya tomorrow. Um, I'm about to come face front to actually talk to y'all. Because there's still some more stuff I want to update and let y'all know about. Y'all, I done watched three episodes of Girlfriends. Took a shower. All that. And I'm just now coming back to finish what I wanted to say from the last clip. And I actually had to watch the last clip over. Because I totally forgot what I was even talking about. But... Um, my head is also starting to hurt. I think it's because I be wearing my wig caps that I be wearing under my wigs. I wear this 24-7. Like, when I'm asleep, I still have it on. All that. And I think it might be a little too tight. So, I took it off. Um, but it keeps my braids neater for longer. Because, y'all, I just did these while I was in the hospital. And they're already growing out. So, they look crazy. So... Um, but yeah, how I was saying that my boyfriend's going to see Kaya tomorrow. So this one rule that, I don't know why I said like that, rule that they have during this whole COVID thing or whatever. I think I mentioned it in the vlog, in the last vlog, but only one of us can be with her at a time, but it's, and you know, hospitals have waiting rooms, but one of us cannot be in there with her and the other one in the waiting room no because their waiting rooms are 
off limits they're closed right now so it doesn't make sense for both of us to ever go up there together because we both won't be allowed in the building together like it, it's so extra and so dumb so since i spent the day with her today he's gonna go ahead and spend the day with her tomorrow so um let me tell you how today went with the nurse or whatever because i don't think i really updated y'all but like i've been saying like she's doing good in terms of everything but she does sleep a lot or whatever but the nurse said that's like completely normal or whatever and then the nurse had asked she's like oh does she move around move around a lot when she was in your stomach and she didn't honestly like she had her peak times which was always you know really late at night right before I was going to bed and then really early in the morning um when I wake up but other than that throughout the day she did not move too much so I guess it's true what they say that like the babies really mimic what they used to do inside of you or whatever so yeah she spends a lot of time asleep so you know when she is up and it's her feeding time they'll feed her by bottle but she doesn't take the entire bottle like she'll take some of the bottle and then she'll tap out and get tired and go to sleep but you know she still got to eat to make sure she's like gaining her weight and stuff while she's in there so when she's not eating by mouth they have a tube attached to her or whatever so that they can feed her in her sleep but yeah it's not that late it's only like 11 or about to be yeah it's 11 18 but as i've been telling y'all since earlier today i'm tired which is why i came straight home so i'm actually going to end the vlog here i'm gonna edit it tomorrow i feel like i didn't get that much footage because i didn't do that much today at all but i did do a lot of talking and i showed y'all a lot of stuff so i think this vlog should be long enough but if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to my channel give this video a thumbs up follow me and kaya on instagram my instagram is k Catrice. her instagram is kaya catrice i'll have it across the screen and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye guys dark skin girls they always say that you're pretty for a dark skin yeah you're pretty for a dark skin